That's what they say. Pitbull. Yeah, they, all the coaches are like, hey, watch this pit bull here, guys, and that's it. That's all. <laughs> Do you like that? You I like mean, it's cool with me. It's better than having no name. <laughs> For sure. So. Go ahead. Again. Right, uh, you grew up in Texas. What, yes, sir. What does football mean to Texans? And, uh, oh, that's, and that's a good question. You know, um, I, tr I try to tell all these guys over here that it's a, it's a different kind of football over in Texas. They don't believe me, but it, it really is. Uh, we take it pretty seriously over there. And uh, I mean, it's it's that's that's our thing is football over in Texas. So how big a, a, a <coughs> game is that for you going back home and all that? Kind of oh, I'm, I'm I'm so excited. It's I, I can't even put into words how excited I am um, just to be a part of that atmosphere. I mean, Texas, you know, has a huge stadium and there's gonna be so many people there. I'm just excited to be a part of that game. I know you're from the more of the Dallas area. Yes, sir. Right? Will you have a lot of family there? Yeah, or? I'll have a, um, a few of my family there, and then a few friends also will be there at that game. Well, you probably answered this already, but what was it like coming in and, and earning your spot and, and playing time? And yeah, uh, like I was telling him, um, you know, I came into fall camp, and you know, there's great offense linemen here, great offense linemen, and I was scared I wasn't even gonna, you know, be able to travel at all, even be on the depth chart, but. You know, I just came in and I thought, you know, all I can do is my part and, you know, just work hard, do what I can do, and I was just able to move my way up. How would you assess the, the first game against you? First game, it was uh, it was fun. It was exciting. I was I was pretty nervous before, but um, it just kind of showed me that, you know, I can you know, I can play with these guys and I'll be able to do, do well at this level. Looking back on it and looking at the film and what you guys did, is the offensive line pretty satisfied with the overall performance? Yeah, I'd say we're satisfied, but I say as a group, we're all ready and excited to do even better against Texas. And uh, we're, we're really excited to, to prove what we can do. Jamal Williams brought up the Edward Fusey block, the, the mm -hmm. baptism. What, yeah. what was that? What's that like watching that, you know, with oh, you guys? Oh, man, that's Fusey. Fusey, he, man, he, he got him pretty good. Um, it's just kind of <laughs> – for me, I just want to go out there and baptize some people too. Now, so I'm, it was it was a great it was a great play. Is, is there a competition? Who gets the next? You know, who's going to be the next one to do something like that? Or no, is it more just everybody? I mean, everybody wants to be kind of noticed as you know. Once because we got into team meetings and everybody was like, "Guys, check out this block that Fusi just made," and he kind of made me want to do that too. So this next game, hopefully, I, you know, I can have some Fusi plays. <laughs> Jordan Leslie says that if you grew up in Texas, you, you, you either are a Texas fan or a Texas A&M fan. Which are you? I um, growing up, I was I, I watched Texas a lot, and then I started like Texas A&M a lot more too. But um, either I mean both schools are really good schools, and there I I grew up watching both of them. Did they recruit you at all? No, they didn't. So you're a BYU fan, and you're gonna go yeah. out and show, show oh, them. Oh yeah, yes sir. Now I'm 100% BYU Texas. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>